From creative ways to better secure your controllers, amazing hacks to allow you to transfer some of your old accessories to the Quest 3. It's impressive how much the community has discovered in terms of amazing things you can do with your Quest 3 VR headset. And so in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you a collection of amazing hacks that'll definitely allow you to revolutionize and have a better experience with your Quest 3. That will not only enhance your gaming experience, but also will save you a lot of money. Let's start off with the box. Now this VR headset happens to be the most compact VR headset that Meta has ever produced. Thanks to that, the box that it comes with originally can make a great substitute if you just hold on to this and make it your, your primary travel case of choice, which is actually more compact than the official one from Meta. Yes, you do lose the amazing storage capacity that it has, but come on, this is free and it's a great way to lower your carbon footprint. Some people have also modified it so they could actually pass through a cable and charge their VR when it's stored away. And since it's so compact and small, it's easy to travel with and you're less likely to scratch your lens. Another amazing thing about this is this little lens cover that it originally came with, don't throw this piece away because unless you already have one, but most users, this is a great substitute if you still haven't yet picked up a lens cover, this will protect your VR headset, protect it from any scratches or foreign objects to come in contact with if it's stored away in your backpack. So this will easily give your VR headset additional protection. And then for the next hack is if you have a silicone fascia cover on your Quest 2, you're able to transfer it over to the Quest 3. Yes, it's a similarly in dimension, it's almost identical to silicone cover and put it on the Quest 3 for these next ones are amazing adapters that you could print out if you have access to a 3D printer or know somebody who has one. Be sure to send them these files because you can actually create some adapters that will not only allow you to use some of your old Quest 2 head straps, make them compatible on the Quest 3. I previously printed out the Elite adapter because I wasn't sure that my Elite strap for the Quest 3 was going to arrive on time. So in the meantime, I did that and it worked really well. It's inexpensive to print out and allow me to not having to be stuck between the stock Quest 3 strap, which tends to be known to be very uncomfortable. Now they make adapters for not just the Elite strap, they also make them for the Bobo VR, the HTC, Halo strap, and more. I have links to some model adapters in the video description down below. So if you have one of these head straps onto your Quest 2, check the video description down below, but you can also Google it and double check in case I missed your model. Now this next hack is for those who are actually still using the stock head strap because let's be real, again, these things are really uncomfortable, but if you have these amazing paper clips, you no longer have to constantly readjust it or pause after 30 minutes of gaming just to make the head strap more comfortable. With this, you could put these paper clips like right here and literally strap it and lock it in place. This way, while you're gaming, it doesn't, you don't have to pause and readjust them. This makes gaming so much better. Then as an added bonus, something unique that a lot of people were discovering is this little pouch gap right here. You could fit a bricky power bank through this. So technically the head strap can actually hold the battery bank back here and you could just run the cable with USB-C to USB-C and allowing you to have a longer gameplay experience because let's be real, the Quest 3 uh, built-in battery can barely provide an hour of gameplay, which is why I did this mod, which I'll cover more in a little bit and how it managed to do that. But if you do have access to a 3D printer, you can always just 3D print these amazing adapters, which works extremely similar. Also linked in the description down below. Now back to uh, my modification, my hack that I decided on doing. So I have the Bobo VR for the Quest 2. I have purchased the adapter, but it's in back order and won't be available until early November. At least that's what my ETA shipping date is. So if you haven't yet picked up an adapter, but you still want to play VR longer than an hour comfortably, and you like to utilize these amazing like battery magnetic battery adapters as you see I just did there. The Bobo VR head strap, the Halo strap, it's only connected to three screws. When you remove this, this part right here literally just pops out. Just remove the cable from its little feeding harness that it has going on. Use something like a hot glue gun or if you like a, to make this into a permanent solution, you can always use a proxy. Personal preference, I use the hot glue gun because 
Once that adapter arrives, I would like to quickly be able to remove this and put it on back to the Halo, Halo strap originally and screw it back on with the new housing for the uh, kit adapter for the Quest 3. So that's why I did this. I decided to go in with the hot glue method. Again, you're free to choose whichever method you'd like to. I know the hot glue method, it's gonna get undone over time easily and I'm just gonna have to repeat the process but as I'm literally shaking it right in front of you, this is not coming off and it's actually gonna stay. But again, like over a week or two, I'm gonna probably have to readjust it because it's hot glue, it's not a permanent solution. But this is a nice little hack you could do in the meantime. Now, if you don't have time for the adapter, there's also people on Reddit I've been seeing that have been taking a heat gun and just warp the little clips around the Quest 3 to make it compatible. So if you like to do that, you're able to do this. Just keep in mind, once you do this process, it's kind of hard to reverse back to the Quest 2. So this is like a, almost like a one-time done type of mod. But if you're still trying to figure out efficient ways to maximize your battery life when gaming in VR. If you have one of these like portable power banks that you've been using on the Quest 1 all the way to the Quest 2 days, it's compatible to the Quest 3. Super easy and convenient, you just attach right here. But this doesn't really give you that much gameplay additional time because realistically this gives me like about 15 minutes more of gameplay. 15 to 30 minutes I will say which is not a lot compared to almost two hours with these things. And since it comes with two, I'm easily able to hot swap it as you just witness while gaming. But yeah, this Bobo thing is really cool. This Bobo VR, I love these little power banks. And then if you're also like me who are also on the same boat because I'm waiting for my prescription lens to arrive. If you have like a broken pair of glasses, pop out the lens and use plumber putty or some type of clay-like material, you could actually line it up properly to the point where you could game comfortably without having to squeeze your glasses frame inside this narrow, very narrow fascia cover. A couple of people on Reddit have done this and from their feedback, it seems like it worked really well. So if you have some spare frames out there, that's a nice little hack you could do right now. And then the last hack I've been seeing float all over the internet is moving the wrist strap above the controller and tightening it like so. This allows you to easily like flow in your fingers. This is a much more easier method of having to actually take the time and put it on your wrist when you just feed your hands in through the touch controllers and you can let go and they won't fall off. Now this is only good for like people with smaller hands because for me, I could barely fit this. So larger adults, we we're gonna have a hard time being comfortable doing this method. But for younger kids, I could definitely see this being beneficial. Just keep in mind this method is not perfect. It's a good substitute if you're waiting on your grip accessory to arrive in the mail because this little button right here can be falsely triggered. But most games I've noticed don't really take advantage of this button. So I don't really see an issue here. But first person shooter games that require you to grab objects, this may be an issue. But nonetheless, is a nice little hack in the meantime. But that's the final hack, but I do have one product, at least one to recommend to you guys. These little VR slash camera lens pens, these things are amazing because these really allow you to get in there in the small cracks and move any dust or debris that build up there over time. And this little cap over here comes off, revealing a nice smooth microfiber cloth circle that allows you to get into the little cracks, corners, and really clean up the lens without fear of you scratching it. I highly recommend this accessory for that reason. This way there's no smear much smudges on the edges and you can make sure you clean up your VR lens perfectly. So this will definitely deliver the best VR gaming experience for clarity as much as possible. VR slash mixed reality experience. Other than that, there you guys have it. Those were my favorite hacks that you could do right now with the Quest 3. So feel free to comment down below if you have some hacks of your own you'd like to share with the community. Again, links to everything in the description down below, including those 3D files. Now, if you wish to watch more, I highly recommend checking out this video over here where I go through my favorite tips and tricks and some settings you should definitely enable if you just picked up the Quest 3. It is a first time buyer guide, but there's also some things that is new to the Quest 3. So it doesn't hurt to rewatch that video as a nice refresher while also learning some new things here and there about the Quest 3. Thank you so much for watching.